Hi everybody, happy Wednesday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Jaspie's five box through the years of contenders. Football mixer, random team number two. No vet common chip, all teams are in. Yeah, there's some huge potential in this mixer. We're doing a box of 11, 16, 18, 19, and 21. There you go right there. Should be a nice one. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And we only have to do one filler. So thanks to the people who took a risk on that. Congrats again to the winners. All 32 teams are in. And if, you're, uh, if you want to run this back, we do have another set of five boxes loaded up in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Be happy to run this back. So for this break, one and a six, seven times names and teams. Let's randomize them seven times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Karen down to Canard. One and a six, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and once more. And again, seventh and final time. We got the Colts down to the Texans. All right, Karen with the blue horseshoes, Daniel, you had the Falcons, Joel with the Bengals, Mark with the Commanders, Terry with the Broncos, Ron with the Vikings, Jason H, last spot mojo, Tennessee Titans, Jose with the Chiefs, Mark S with the Seahawks, Mike with the Chargers, George with the Browns, Ron with the Panthers, Steve Wright with the Lions, Mark with the Cardinals, Ron with the Dolphins, Sean Maddock with the Bills, Daniel with the Saints, Chris with the Patriots, Terry with the Giants, Daniel with my Raiders, Sean with the uh, Eagles, Greg with the Jags, Ryan with the Rams, Mark with the Jets, Daniel with the Ravens, Ryan with the Cowboys, Ron with the Packers and the Bears, Dylan with the Bucks, Ron with the Niners, Daniel with the Steelers, and Kennard Bolt with the Houston Texans. Let's alphabetize by team. And feel free to trade. Remember, trade at your own risk. There are five different years here, a box of 2011, a box of 2016, a box of 2018, a box of 2019, and then a box of 2021. So we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. A lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done, it's okay. Sometimes that happens, a lot of negotiating, Sometimes a deal doesn't get done, just, just like in real life. Big thanks to everybody here for making this happen. Appreciate it. So I think we're just going to go in chronological order. We'll start with 2011 and then we'll work our way towards 2021. This is back when they called it playoff contenders. Back when they put a checklist in your in your boxes as well. All right, good luck. See you, Tyler. Tyler Stumpf, ladies and gentlemen, just popped by the shop. Some of you may remember him in, in our breaks. Had a little layover in LA. Or I think his flight got delayed and then it's now making his way back home. Uh, Pacific Northwest, I believe. A real blast from the past. Bruce Arians just retired. What? Bruce Arians just retired. Yeah. Tampa Bay Buccaneers coach Bruce yeah. Arians? Todd Bowles is taking over. Really? Wow.
Yeah, 11 minutes ago, according to Pro Football Talk, Bruce Arians steps down as Tampa Bay Buccaneers head coach. Todd Bull picked to be successor. Arians said his new job would be a senior consultant for football. And that gig will start with Tampa Bay's 2022 draft prep. According to this uh, Pro Football Talk article on NBC Sports, they're saying this move comes as a surprise, but perhaps not as a shock. Arians, the most colorful coach in a buttoned-up pro game, said he started thinking about stepping aside the NFL Combine a month ago. Prostate cancer survivor, hospitalized due to the illness in his first coaching tenure, suffering from a torn Achilles today. Health wasn't really the issue, but... Hmm. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. These are kind of all landscape, but upside down and right side up. Sorry about this. This is going to be a little, little jarring. The, here's the, the the downside of these. Um, I'm gonna do left, right, randomize. The downside of the older product is that. Oh wow! Look, Cam Newton, rookie ticket on card autograph. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Ron, with a spot that he won, Carolina Panthers. That's pretty nice. And his youth is, does he just trade, trade Brady to the Niners? Well, no, he's senior consultant for football, so I don't think he has, he has any say in personnel decisions, Mike Tower. I mean, I suppose he could suggest it, but it's Pretty, pretty highly doubtful that Brady comes back from from retirement and then demands a trade, I guess, or they trade him away. That'd be crazy. But I guess crazy things can happen. Here's our next autograph, Bruce Miller, rookie ticket autograph. And that will be for the Niners. That'll be, that's for Ron as well. Here's the A.J. Green, Rookie of the Year contenders. Should be one more autograph in here, maybe, on average. So there's four autographs, but I think we only got three. The two and the redemption. All right, unless someone signed really tiny and I missed it. I don't think I did. I guess they're like, here's your Cam Newton rookie auto. Yeah, it would have been pretty obvious because it has that big white white bar that goes across it for the auto. So I guess we got shorted one.
Yeah, we got short on. I did find this though, the Doug Baldwin ninety two out of ninety nine. All right, the redemption is expired, but it's, uh, oh, that's how they did it back then, huh? To the checklist, cardboardconnection.com, 2011 contenders, football, RPS rookie tickets. What does that Cam Newton go for these days? <sighs> no checklist. Oh, I have a checklist. What am I saying? RPS rookie tickets 204. Greg Little. Where was Greg Little in 2011? What was his rookie team? I think it was. That's Greg Little, offensive line. What about Greg Little, wide receiver? Cleveland Browns in 2011. Now, I don't know what they're gonna what they're gonna do for you for a redemption this old. But we'll still send it to Cleveland anyway. That'll go to you, George. Maybe they'll give you some points or something like that in return. All right. I know, Joel. I just realized that they gave me a checklist when I started looking it up. All right. 2016 Panini Contenders football. Joel, you might, might be lagging behind just by a few minutes. Make sure you're watching, this is for everybody too. Make sure you're watching live, boys and girls. Click that live button on your stream or refresh your stream. That'll get you to the most current point of the, of the broadcast. No, no, no other reactions to Bruce Arians retiring. Any other thought? How does that affect the Buccaneers, does, it, does that affect their win totals? Does that affect, um, does that affect how they draft? How does Brady feel about this? Brady must have known about this. Is this a surprise to Brady? Is it gonna make no difference that, that anyone can run that team successfully? They updated the overtime rules. Looks like NFL approves overtime rules tweak for just the playoffs only. Which I'm okay with. Now, Ron saying coaching's not gonna affect Tom. He's gonna be fine. Gang. Yeah, Brian saying Lethwich is the key. As long as he's still coordinating the offense, they're going to be fine. I think so too. And again, we'll do left-right randomizers on those. And Jordan Payton's our first autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. A live autograph this time for George and the Browns.
There's Brock Osweiler, the Brock Lobster. And that's for the uh, Texans. That'll go to Kennard and Houston. Remember, vet commons like this, that, 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 that won't ship. In case you're wondering, obviously, it's an insert that'll that'll definitely ship. I think we do ship Brady's. This obviously ships. It's an insert, and it's to 199. Obviously, MVP contenders will ship. Just to give you an idea, and Farrell Cooper will ship 36 out of 99. On card autographs for the Rams. That's going to go to Ryan Bidwell. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo, I guess. Farrell Cooper. A lot of advertising cards in, in this year. And we got an Amir Abdullah, NFL Inc. autograph. Lions. That'll be for Steve Wright in Detroit. And Maurice uh, Kennedy. Eight out of 25 championship ticket auto. Going to the Purple Birds, Daniel, and the Ravens. And Jared Goff, autograph. 23 out of 24 cracked ice rookie autograph for the Rams. That'll be for Ryan. Let's see how he does this season. All right, next box. All right, 2018 Contenders Football. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo, I want to say. It's Vikings re-signing Patrick Peterson. Yeah, Ryan's hoping that his stock goes up, Jared Goff. Is the jury still out on Jared Goff? He, I guess, in in the right system, he did go to did make a Super Bowl appearance. I feel like he's got a pretty good offensive line in Detroit. It gives him time to time to time to work, which, which would help, which will help any quarterback really. So we'll see. Ram, uh, Rams, Lions lost a lot of like one-score games. So with some, you know, with a fresh round of free agency and and a, and a draft, one wonders. You know, could some of those one-score games, one-score losses, turn into one-score wins? We'll see. There's Russell Wilson to 175. Still Seattle edition here. That'll be for Mark.
And again, we'll go left, right randomizers on those. Right, yeah. And back here we've got Dorian O'Daniel for the Chiefs. Speaking of the Chiefs, apparently they signed uh, Marquez Valdez Scantling. Jose with the Chiefs. And we've got Denzel Ward, rookie ticket autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. Another one for George. Another redemption, then unfortunately that might be expired as well. This is the risk with these older products. The redemption is going to be Carry On Johnson. Carry on my wayward son. He would be a lion, I believe, right? Is he still a lion? No, he's a free agent at the moment. But back in uh, back in this year's set, 2018, he's a he's a lion. Again, um, for Detroit, Steve Wright expired, but. A lot of times Panini will either honor it for you. I've heard a lot of people say that even with expired, they've, pro they've, they've scratched that out and punched it into the system and it goes through. If not, they may be able to get you some points back in return or something like that. Josh Sweat, Sweat. Eagles, that'll be for Sean Maddock. Fly, Eagles, fly. And there's Danny Etling, rookie ticket autograph for the Patriots, Chris Parent. Yeah, maybe, Jonah. I'd like to move more Inception baseball today, though, brand new release. If we move one or two of those, maybe I'd be open to taking care of that other break. Maybe put that in a filler. All right, two more boxes to go. So help fill help us fill up that uh, that Inception baseball. All right, now we're in 2019. We're, we're not really, we don't really have a lot of uh, other NFL transactions, right? Because we're pretty much heading towards the draft. The NFL draft in Las Vegas in, in a couple of weeks. It's always a fun watch. Although my Raiders, sent their first two draft picks, first pick and second pick to the Packers for Devontae Adams. So we'll see how we'll see how Green Bay uses those picks. Green Bay Green Bay's taking receivers, right? A receiver? At least with one of those first round picks. Who's being projected as a number one overall pick? I do look like looking at WalterFootball.com. It's a little mock draft, uh, alternate mock draft uh, people outside of the usual ESPN gang. So he has a couple defensive ends going one and two. Jaguars, Aiden Hutchinson, maybe Trayvon Walker. Lineman, 
defensive end. I guess the first quarterback could be Kenny Pickett to Carolina, maybe? Ooh, interesting. So Sean D is thinking, is thinking what, uh, he's thinking that Green Bay could move some of their picks to Seattle for DK Metcalf. Uh, that would be, that'd be real. What, what happens to this guy? Here's Baker Mayfield. Uh, 172 out of 175. This is for Cleveland. George. This could be, could this be another draft day trade? At this point, I don't think a lot of transactions will happen until the draft. All right, and here is rookie ticket autograph Marcus Green for the Eagles. It's another Eagle for Sean Maddock. Rookie ticket autograph, Travis Fulham, Detroit Lions. Steve Wright. Another Lion, Ty Johnson. Rookie auto for Steve Wright. And Sunday ticket signatures, Cam Chancellor, nice. 18 out of 25 for Seattle. That's gonna go to Mark and the Seahawks. It was Eagles. He was in a Falcons jersey, but it says he was traded to the Eagles. There's Hakeem Butler, Arizona Cardinals, on-card autograph for Mark S. So Mark got the Cam Chancellor, and then he got the Hakeem Butler, back-to-back -back autos. Left, right, randomizers on those. All right, and there you go. That's it for twenty uh, nineteen. All right, now we skip ahead to 2021. Current group right here, soon to be, soon to be next year's group. So these guys will be going into their second years. I got a question for you, since we're almost at the 2022 draft. For the players in the 2021 draft, let's take out, let's say, let's take out Trevor Lawrence from this equation. But who do you think has, you know, someone maybe who was a little disappointing their first year? Who bounce? Who who has a nice bounce back year in their second year? Let's take Trevor Lawrence out of it. Number one overall pick, he's probably a new coach, new weapons, he's probably a popular pick anyway. Love to see Zach Wilson have a nice second year. Fields, yeah, that, there's a good one. He was kind of playing here and there, but never really got some consistent time, but now he has a new coaching staff that I'm sure wants to unlock his potential. Okay, I like that. I mean, Devonta Smith had a nice season, but I wonder if he could have like a breakout season. Jones, which Jones, Steve? Oh, Matt Jones? I thought he had a nice season last year. 
But it could be better. Could be better. I'm just kind of looking at the first couple rounds here. Like, what about, like, Rashad Bateman, wide receiver for the Ravens? I would love to see. He was injured for a good chunk of last year, so I don't think he really got got his, uh, got his, got really got going. Waddle had, Waddle had a nice season, I thought. Could he have a better season? Yeah. I, that'd be good for the hobby. Like, I like Elijah Moore, too. He didn't really make a lot of noise, but it could, could Elijah Moore make some noise for, for the Jets if... You know, second year, Zach Wilson, second year, Elijah Moore, they kind of get things going. Uh, Rondale Moore is another guy I like. The receiver out of Purdue. He's on the Cardinals now that Christian Kirk is in there. They already kind of had a crowded, crowded wide receiving core anyway. So... So yeah, so maybe 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 he can really break out. All right, first autograph is rookie ticket auto Cameron Bynum. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, Waddle did have a kind of have a nice season, a thousand plus yards. Vikings. That's gonna go to Ron and Minnesota. Here's Christian Barmore, rookie ticket autograph. Patriots, that's gonna go to Chris Parent and the Pats. We got playoff ticket autograph, Tyson Williams, 98 out of 99. For the Purple Birds, that'll be for Daniel. Yeah, Mark's thinking, man, could he even have an even better season if there's another wide receiver on the other side? Didn't the Dolphins pick up somebody to play on the other side of him? All right, we got rookie ticket auto Dylan Redunds for Tennessee. Jason. Jason H. With the Titans, last spot mojo, 70% of the time, 70% of the time, last spot mojo, it's 100% of the time. So a little something for you towards the end. Uh-oh, look what's coming up. This guy's ears were was burning. Championship ticket, on-card autograph, 34 out of 49, Jalen Waddle. We were just talking about him. His ears were burning. There he is. Miami, Ron. Won that spot, got randomized. The Dolphins gets a nice on-card auto. Hmm. Brian Callahan pointing out Kyle Pitts only had one TD last year. I mean, he's got he's got double-digit TD potential, doesn't he? That could be a guy that could that can make some noise. He had a nice season, but maybe even more TD noise. Yeah, more TDs. Especially for fantasy, that'd be nice. 58 out of 99. Sean Merriman, Gladiators insert. And that, my friends, is that. Thank you. We'll do the left-right randomizers here. I'll give you a, hit you with a quick recap as well. So let's flip back to some dice. There's some dice. We'll just do a quick left-right rando for those round numbers cards. Let's roll it, randomize it. Three and a two, five times. Side on top, we'll get them. One, this is the side teams. Two, three, and four and five. Four and five. So right side, we'll get them. There you go, gang. I do have another five box break, five box contenders mixer loaded up in the store right now. If you wanna run this back, I am down. I think right for now, it's a dozen spots plus two fillers. But if those full spots move quickly like it did in this particular break, um, we can cancel a filler, add more full spots back. But not a bad break at all, I thought. 
And the nice cracked ice Jared Goff rookie autograph. And rookie Cam Newton on card autograph. That's pretty cool too. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for breaking the Jazz Five box through the years of contenders. Football mixer. Random team break number two. Like I said, the next one is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll football with you next time. Bye-bye.